Magic Doctor, CEO Lady's Humble Husband Chapter 2046 to Chapter 2050 Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 2046 At the same time, Chen Fei and his party sitting in the helicopter were completely unaware of Zhu Quishan and Zhao Kajin's concerns. On the contrary, at this moment, they seemed to be relaxed as if with a bit of travel comfort. After flying for four hours, the helicopter finally landed on a fishing boat. The captain received Chen Fei and others with a serious look, explaining the current situation to them in detail. Because the other party had hostages, the fishing boat could not approach directly. The members of the team should also take advantage of the darkness to quietly approach the drilling platform, striving to kill the terrorists and rescue the hostages. After introducing the situation, the captain took Chin Fei and the others to the equipment room, asking them to choose their own weapons. Chin Fei and the others were basically oriented with the Heavenly Sect's martial arts. Except for Zhao Hu, they were not very proficient in the use of weapons in the military, so they just randomly chose a pistol. Moreover, for the team members who basically reached the middle stage of the heavenly level realm, ordinary pistol bullets, even rifle bullets, could not break through their defenses. Therefore, these weapons seemed a bit tasteless to them. After choosing their weapons, the captain asked Chin Fei and the others to return to the cabin to rest and wait for nightfall. In the cabin, Zong Han and the others were not sleepy, and they chatted and laughed. This special training mission is really like that. It's just that I suspect that it took so much effort. With so many people and so much equipment, the effect of the training will not be affected, right? If we hadn't guessed it, there might have been a little training effect. But now, we've all guessed their purpose, and I don't think we can count on the training effect. Let's just do well and try showing our hands. That's right. Since I went down the mountain, I haven't had a chance to prove myself. This time, I have to show my hand and let them see how good I am. Me too. I heard that some people in the army are a little dissatisfied with us for having obtained many slots. They even doubt the strength of our heavenly sect disciples. Chin Fei did not participate in Zong Han's chat but closed his eyes and pondered. The more he pondered, the more strange Chen Fei felt. If this mission was really just a special training, then the preparations of President Zhao and the others were indeed too rough. If they could be seen through so easily, this might not achieve the effect of the special training. Could it be that the superiors have other arrangements? Chin Fei thought. Although there was a vague feeling that something was wrong, Chin Fei really couldn't think of any clues. In the end, he could only tell himself, Chin Xiling, and Zhao Hu to be more careful. After the rest until late at night, the captain personally came over to wake up Chin Fei and the others. A group of people came to the deck to gather. Looking at the vast sea and the bright moon above the sea, Wu Zikong and others, who rarely saw the sea, took a few more glances, appreciating this rare beauty. Seeing this, the captain frowned slightly, but he didn't say much. He explained the process of the task according to the procedure and then ordered Chin Fei and the others to set off. A small boat was put down and the group boarded it. They started the boat and slowly approached the drilling platform. The boat drove for an hour in the calm sea. The drilling platform is near. Zong Han was in charge of leading the team. At this moment, the engine was turned off and they manually rowed the boat towards the drilling platform. After rowing for about 40 minutes, the boat, like a leaf, silently slipped towards the drilling platform. The control boat stopped and Zong Han then gestured to everyone. He took the lead and climbed up the steel structure of the platform nimbly and silently. The rest followed suit, climbing onto the rig one by one. The drilling platform standing in the sea, like a huge steel beast, swayed gently with the ups and downs of the sea. Chen Fei and the others did not directly board the platform but clung to the steel pillars, observing the situation on the platform. Maybe the other party was understaffed, or maybe the other party didn't know much about the drilling platform. Around the platform, only one person was arranged to guard each corner, plus two mobile patrolling guards. The overall defense force was not strict. After confirming the situation, Zong Han gestured to make arrangements. Zong Han, Hui Zheng, Zou Pu, and Wei Ming raided the guards in four directions at the same time, while Wu Zikong and Yu Qin were responsible for solving the two patrolling guards. The remaining three, Chen Fei, Chen Xiling, and Zhao Hu, stayed below to prevent accidents. At the beginning of the action, everyone moved agile and fast, like a phantom, flying along the steel column to the platform. They put the opponents down, making a few slight thuds, and did not alarm others. Task completed. Everyone, gather on the platform. 
Zong Han gave an order. Everyone gathered, and Zong Han was about to make plans on how to attack the people inside the platform. But at this moment, a piercing alarm sounded suddenly, and a red headlight spun and illuminated the platform. Such a sudden change surprised everyone. Zong Han's face changed instantly, what's going on? Then, everyone immediately discovered the source of the alarm, which was the two patrolling guards. One of them, for some reason, woke up and pressed the alarm gear, triggering an alarm on the rig. In such a situation, everyone's eyes instantly turned to Wu Zikong and Yu Qin. Zong Han's expression also sank, looked at Wu Zikong, and asked in a low voice, what's going on? Didn't you say it's solved? Wu Zikong's expression was a little ugly, and he quickly explained, it's solved. I knocked them out. I just didn't expect him to wake up so quickly. Solving means killing. Stunning is not enough. Zong Han gritted his teeth. Wu Zikong was a little stunned, but, this is just an acting special training, and the other party is not a real terrorist, so I didn't intend to kill people. This. You. Zong Han glared at Wu Zikong angrily. Seeing that the two were fighting, Chen Fei frowned and said, now is not the time to fight. The enemy has already discovered our invasion, and now, the first thing we have to solve is the enemy. Just rush over it. With our strength, we can definitely win. Wu Zikong hurriedly wanted to make up for his mistake just now. Chapter 2047 When Chen Fei heard this, he frowned and reminded, don't forget, there are still hostages on the platform. It's all acting. The hostages are not real. Wu Zikong said indifferently. President Zhao's order is not like this. Chen Fei frowned and said coldly. Wu Zikong still wanted to say something, but at this moment, he heard cluttered footsteps approaching their side. Zong Han hurriedly said, Zikong, stop talking. Now, spread out to meet the enemy. Try to protect the safety of the hostages. Zong Han ordered. When everyone heard the words, they dispersed and found a good position to meet the upcoming enemy attack. Although this was not the best approach at the moment, for everyone who does not have a tacit understanding, facing the enemy separately was the most realistic approach at present. Not long after, there was a sound of fighting on the platform. There was the sound of guns banging, as well as the sound of real vitality roaring out. Chen Fei and Chen Xiling were together. At this moment, there were four figures with rifles and hoods in front of them. As soon as they rushed out, seeing Chen Fei and Chen Xiling, they fired frantically with their rifles. Chen Fei was already prepared, and his real energy condensed into a defensive air wall, blocking all the rifle bullets. Before waiting for the other party to recover from the surprise, Chen Fei turned into an afterimage and rushed to the front of the four figures. For Qi energy burst out from his right hand, penetrating the eyebrows of the four people, causing them to die instantly. At the same time, in the direction behind him, two more people with rifles rushed out. The bullets poured out like rain, and Chen Xiling reacted very quickly, blocking the bullet with one hand. Her other hand turned into a sharp-edged air blade, slashing the throats of the two terrorists, causing them to die instantly. Just as Chen Fei and Chen Ziling dealt with these six people, battles also took place in other directions. In the end, there were no surprises, although these terrorists with guns were fierce. But for Chen Fei and the others, who were in the middle stage of the heavenly level realm, it was not enough. In less than three minutes, the platform was quiet, with a smell of blood in the air. Zong Han called everyone to gather. I killed three enemies, how about the others? I killed two. Me, four. We two together, six. With the lesson of the patrol guards just now, everyone did not hold back. When they faced the enemy, they all killed them. The numbers were reported one by one, and the results were quite fruitful. There are 32 people we killed. Zong Han said, in the information given by President Zhao, there are about 30 terrorists. Could it be that we killed all terrorists? It's that simple? The task is completed already? Even Wu Zikong felt something was wrong at the moment. The task seemed too easy. No, if it's that simple, there's no need for President Zhao to hand over the task to us. Also, I didn't see the hostages. These people are terrorists, and they won't be so kind enough to keep the hostages away. Everyone expressed their doubts. Zong Han frowned and then ordered, let's search the entire platform together. No one made any objection. The group gathered together and searched the platform from bottom to top. The search results surprised Chen Fei and the others. There were obvious traces of life in the lounge, but no staff member could be seen. Such a situation confused everyone. What's going on? All the staff is gone. Could it be that they were all rescued? Impossible, if that's the case, President Zhao will let us know. Or were they taken away by terrorists? However, why would the terrorists take them? With so many hostages, such action is inconvenient. Could it be that the hostages have already been killed by them? It's not likely. There are no traces of murder here. Besides, keeping the hostages is also useful to them. I can't think of the reason why they would kill the hostages. What the hell is going on? 
Just when everyone was wondering, suddenly, a rumbling sound of the engine quickly approached their side. Everyone was shocked and rushed out immediately. They immediately felt a beam of light shining through. Taking a closer look, they found that on the sea around the platform, several speedboats with headlights were fast approaching them. Who? This was the first thought that popped into everyone's mind. Zhao Hu, who was from the army, had the most combat experience. When he saw such a situation, he immediately said, cover your body and don't expose yourself. This was because he was worried that the opponent would shoot directly from the speedboat. When everyone heard the words, they immediately hid and covered their figures. At this time, the speedboats drove around the drilling platform. Through the lights, Qin Fei and the others could vaguely see that there were a dozen people standing on each speedboat, and there were almost a hundred people in total. Is this a real terrorist? In such a situation, Wu Zikong couldn't help but swallow his saliva. At this moment, Zhao Hu shouted, This is the Huaxia drilling platform, please identify yourself immediately. Otherwise, we will attack immediately. Facing Zhao Hu's call, the speedboat's engines were turned off, and the scene became quiet. A sturdy bald man in his fifties stepped in front of a certain speedboat, looked at the platform, and said loudly, You are Huaxia's team members participating in the International Young Martial Artist Competition. As soon as these words came out, Chen Fei's team was startled. Immediately, the bald man continued, Actually, we have no malicious intentions. We just want to have a discussion with you. Discussion? Hearing this, everyone could not help frowning. Zong Han said, Who do you want to talk to? The bald man smiled and said, Master Chen Fei is on your team. Our request is very simple, let Master Chen and our people compete with each other. The other party mentioned Chen Fei accurately, which surprised everyone, and all looked at Chen Fei in unison. Chen Fei's brows trembled slightly, and then he said, Who are you? Why do you want to compete against me? Don't worry. As long as you agree, I believe that you will know about it soon. The bald man said. Chen Fei frowned in thought. Chen Xiling, who was on the side, persuaded in a low voice, Brother, don't agree. This may be a conspiracy. Zhao Hu and Zhou Pu also nodded their heads with worry in their eyes, agreeing with Chen Xiling's point of view. Wu Zikong on the other side wanted to say something at the moment, but before he could say anything, he was stopped by Zhong Han next to him. Chapter 2048 After thinking for a few seconds, Chen Fei said loudly, Let's just say that I agree. If I lose, I'm afraid you won't let me go. But if I win, I don't see any benefits. If it were you, will you agree? Hearing this, the bald man couldn't help laughing, Master Chen is right, if it were me, I would not agree. Immediately, he changed the subject and said in a gloomy tone, but, I am sure that Master Chen will agree. After he finished speaking, he clapped his hands, and in the speedboat, a few men in uniform came out immediately. The bald man said, Master Chen, if you promise to compete, I will release a hostage every time you win. Chen Fei did not respond immediately but looked at the people around him. Zhao Hu picked up the night vision binoculars, took a close look, nodded, and said, it matches the person in the data. It's the staff of the drilling platform. Chen Xiling immediately became nervous after hearing this. She looked at Chen Fei and said, brother, don't take risks. These people are very powerful. You. Chen Fei nodded and said, I understand. But our mission is to rescue the hostages, and I can't just sit back and watch. Zhou Pu couldn't help saying at this moment, Mr. Chen, although these people match the information, they may not be real hostages. After all, this is just a special training. Chin Fei shook his head. Looking at the crowd, he said, President Zhao has never told us that this is just a special training. On the contrary, before we set off, he repeatedly reminded us that this mission is very dangerous and requires us to be more careful. This. Could it be that this mission was not a special training that was arranged? Zhou Pu's expression changed, and he couldn't help but look at the people around him, but... At this moment, the expressions of the others also changed, and their expressions became somewhat serious. After all, almost everyone, at the moment of departure, thought that this mission was just a special training. Qin Fei smiled lightly and said, whether it's training or not, since President Zhao and the others have arranged the task of rescuing the hostages, we must complete it as much as possible. Hearing this, everyone became silent and looked at Qin Fei. Even Zhong Han and Wu Zikong, who were quite uncomfortable with him, looked at Qin Fei with a slight change in their expressions. Chen Fei waved his hand and took a step forward. Beside him, Chen Xiling looked worried and quickly said, Brother, you have to be careful. Don't be reckless. If. Chen Fei smiled and said to Chen Xiling, Don't worry. Your brother is not a fool. He still knows how to put his own life first. After speaking, Chen Fei stepped out, looked at the bald man on a certain speedboat, and said loudly, All right, I agree. Very good. The bald man smiled and said, Others step back and don't intervene. Chin Fei gestured to Chen Xiling and the others, and they all stepped back. Then, the bald man waved his hand, and someone was about to come up immediately. But at this moment, Chin Fei said, wait a minute. What? 
You want to go back from your word? The bald head raised his eyebrows. Chen Fei sneered, of course not. But, before the discussion, I want you to release the first hostage. Otherwise, I don't believe you. Release the first hostage. The bald head narrowed his eyes, thought for a few seconds, and then nodded in agreement. After all, there were a lot of hostages in his hands. There was nothing wrong with one less. If Chin Fei dared to play tricks, he would not let go of the remaining hostages. The bald head gestured, and immediately one of his subordinates threw a hostage up who was slammed into the steel platform and made a painful snort. Chen Fei did not go to see the hostages himself but shouted, Zhao Hu, take the person down. Zhao Hu came from the army and knew the drilling platform best. Therefore, Chen Fei asked Zhao Hu to take the person. It was also convenient for Zhao Hu to check whether there were any problems with the hostage. When the hostage was taken away, the bald man grinned and waved his hand. Immediately, two of his men jumped onto the steel platform and were about to attack Chen Fei. Seeing this, Chen Xiling became anxious and shouted, Bald head, you tricked us. How can you send two people at the same time? The bald grinned and said, I never said it's a one-on-one -on -one competition. It's because of your poor understanding. You, you are a lying piece of sh asterisk t. Brother, don't compete. They are not trustworthy. Chen Xiling shouted. Zoku also said in a low voice, Mr. Chen, let's do it together. It's not that there is no possibility of rescuing the hostages. Hearing this, Chen Fei shook his head and said, it doesn't matter whether the two of them fight together. The result will still be the same. Chen Fei hooked his fingers to the two opponents, with a faint sneer at the corner of his mouth, and said, let's get on with this. On the speedboat, seeing the situation, the bald head said, since Master Chen has said so, then go up. Remember, go all out. When the two heard the words, they instantly launched out with their real breath of essence surging. At a 60-degree angle, they attacked Chen Fei's left and right sides. On the back side, the remaining eight team members couldn't help showing surprise on their faces when they saw each other's movements. This momentum has reached the initial stage of the heavenly level. Two martial arts masters as subordinates, what is the origin of this bald head? These two people are skillfully coordinated. When they attack, their power is even stronger. If Mr. Chen is not careful, he may still be hit. Amidst their worries, Chen Fei squinted his eyes and bent his legs slightly. Chen Fei suddenly shouted, and his arms were like cannonballs, slamming out. With a strong aura of true essence, Chen Fei slammed out his hard fist into the two opponents. The violent impact of the two opponents at this moment also reached the extreme. The powerful force collided with Chen Fei's fist, and the momentum burst out, emitting a crackling explosion. The two were about to exert their strength, but then they felt that the strength of Chen Fei's fist was incessant. The powerful force directly impacted the two of them, causing them to be caught off guard. Their chests seemed to be smashed by a heavy hammer, and they spat out a mouthful of blood. Then, their bodies flew out of the steel platform and fell into the sea. Such a result was not expected by both parties. The bald man's expression froze, and he immediately waved his hand to pick up the two who fell into the sea. However, when the two were caught on the speedboat, they were already breathless. The two masters at the early stage of the heavenly level were directly killed by Chen Fei with one punch. As a result, the bald man's complexion could not help but sink, and his gaze towards Chen Fei became even more gloomy. Chapter 2049 On the platform, the faces of the remaining team members also changed their color when they saw Chen Fei winning. In addition to joy, they were a little surprised. Because, among these team members, except Chen Xiling, almost no one understands Chen Fei's true strength. They only know that he was very powerful, he won the championship in the selection competition, and he also defeated Wu Zikong, forcing Long Wu Yan to retreat. In everyone's impression, they estimated that Chen Fei's martial arts realm should be around the middle stage of heaven, and his strength should be similar to Zong Han, Long Wudian, and Hui Zheng. But now, Chen Fei killed two opponents with one move. Such a strength greatly surprised Zong Han and the others. Several people couldn't help but think in their minds about what would happen if they were the ones who were shot at that time. Soon, they each had an answer in their hearts. That is, although they could also kill the two opponents, the speed at which they could kill them should not be as fast as Chen Fei's. Thinking of this, several people looked at Chen Fei with a little more curiosity. At this moment, the bald man on the speedboat, with a heavy face, raised another hostage. Then, he waved his hand, and the four subordinates jumped onto the ring, occupying four different directions. Seeing this situation, Chen Xiling couldn't help but panic and shouted, Bald head, don't go too far. Just now, it was two versus one. Now that you suffered a loss, you want four versus one. Shameless. The bald man was sullen. He smiled and said coldly, if you don't want to, Mr. Chen can disagree. Anyway, I don't mind killing these hostages. After speaking, the bald man grabbed the hostage in his hand, and a sharp blade appeared in his hand, putting it on the neck of the hostage, marking a bloodstain. Seeing this, with a gloomy face, Chen Fei looked at the people around him, nodded, and said, yes, I promise to compete. 
The bald man heard the words, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. He then waved his hand and threw the hostage onto the ring. At the same time, the four subordinates burst out and attacked Chin Fei suddenly. Feeling the explosion of the opponent's energy, the other members of the team couldn't help but change their faces, and their expressions looked a little ugly. It's another martial artist at the early stage of the heavenly level, and there are four more. What is the origin of these people? How can there be so many heavenly masters? Also, the momentum of these four people is not weaker than the two just now. This time, can Mr. Chin still win? Amidst their discussions, with a fierce breath, the four enemies attacked Chin Fei from four directions. However, now Chin Fei was not as ready for a counterattack as before. Instead, he stood at a distance, quietly waiting for the opponent's attack. Facing the attack, Chen Fei simply dodged and blocked, without the intention of fighting back. This situation made the players behind him worried. What happened to Mr. Chen? Why is there no counterattack? No way. The strength shown by Mr. Chen just now should be more than that. In the midst of their worries, Chen Fei had already executed dozens of moves with the four. After blocking their moves again, Chen Fei squinted his eyes. Suddenly, a loud shout burst out from his mouth, and then his movements accelerated. With after images all over the sky, his two hands danced quickly, grabbing the four people. The four didn't expect Chen Fei's movements to suddenly become so fast. Then, all the clothes on their upper bodies were torn off by Chen Fei. Soon, their naked bodies were revealed. On their skin, one after another faint blue lines, like meridians, covered their chests and backs. The blue lines were like blood vessels, like long blue snakes drilling under the skin. Upon seeing this, Chen Fei squinted his eyes, snorted coldly, and his eyes became cold, is it really a genetic warrior? Genetic warrior. Hearing these four words, his teammates did not recover at first. But Zhao Hu immediately reacted, his expression changed, and he said, gene warrior created by the gene enhanced solution? When academician Song was kidnapped, has the formula of the enhanced solution leaked? Hearing Zhao Hu said this, the other team members immediately understood what was going on. With their identities and status, they all knew something about the gene enhanced solution. In the beginning, they didn't think too much about it. Gene warriors? These heaven-level masters are all catalyzed by gene-enhanced solution. No wonder the other party has acquired so many martial arts masters at once. Who is that bald head? How did he get the gene-enhanced solution formula? What is his purpose? For a time, countless questions appeared in the hearts of the team members. At this moment, Chin Fei was able to confirm the identity of the other party. Then, his movements became faster. A chi energy burst out in his hand, like a blade, bursting out of the air, penetrating the heads of the four genetic warriors, and directly blasting their heads. Then, the four people instantly died and fell into the sea. These genetic warriors, which were forcibly catalyzed by drugs, were already comparable to ordinary heaven-level masters in terms of strength and breath. But after all, they were catalyzed and not flexible enough. So, in actual combat, they were still slightly inferior, not to mention fighting against a master like Chin Fei. After killing the four people, Chin Fei looked at the bald head on the speedboat and said coldly, Continue. Hearing this, the bald man became hesitant. Why, don't you dare? Then let the hostages go. Maybe, I will spare your life. Chen Fei sneered. The bald man's expression changed for a while, and his face showed anger. He clenched his fist and was about to get angry. But at this moment, a man in a bright yellow robe walked out from the speedboat. The man had a long beard, with a majestic face. When the bald man heard the words, he respectfully said to the man, Yes, my lord. After he finished speaking, the bald man waved his hand, and the people on the speedboats all surged up and jumped up on the drilling platform to besiege. In an instant, there were 30 or 40 people on the drilling platform. These people had a good breath on their bodies, and all of them were experts in the realm of heaven. Although almost half of them were genetic warriors, the rest were real heaven-level experts. A group of people came up and immediately surrounded Chin Fei. Seeing this, Chin Xiling couldn't hold on any longer and rushed out, Brother, I'll help you. The other team members also rushed out immediately. Even Zhong Han and Wu Zikong, after a slight pause, rushed out. The nine immediately formed a group with one another. Chapter 2050 For a time, on the platform that was not quite spacious, the energy was flying and the light was surging. The booming explosion and the vigorous whistling sounded continuously. At the same time, there were screams of injuries, the sound of blood splashing, and the sound of being shot down into the sea, one after another. It could be said that Chin Fei and the others were worthy of being the team members. They were powerful. Although they faced opponents three times their own, they fought evenly for a while, shooting down more than a dozen opponents. Seeing this, the bright yellow-robed man on the speedboat froze and shouted to the bald man, You go up. Kill them. The bald man jumped onto the platform in an instant and charged with incomparably powerful energy. This bald man was surprisingly extremely powerful, at least reaching the middle stage of the heavenly level realm, and might even be close to the late stage of the heavenly level. 
As soon as he struck, he immediately changed the battle situation on the platform. Wu Zikong and Hui Ming were directly hit, and a mouthful of blood spurted out of their mouths. Their faces turned pale, and they were already injured. Seeing this, the opponents immediately seized the opportunity to attack. Immediately, the nine people were beaten back and forth, and they could only shrink to the pipe coil that was drilled into the middle of the platform. And the other party, on the other hand, was still approaching, and their offensive was extremely fierce. In such a situation, the faces of the team members became serious. Chen Fei looked at his teammates and immediately made arrangements, the injured Wu Zikong and Hui Zhang, at the innermost layer. Yu Qin and Chen Xiling, protect them. The rest, cooperate with me to charge. Chen Fei slapped his palms loudly, and the violent energy spurted out. Knocking down the enemy in front of him, Chen Fei took the lead and rushed out. The people behind them immediately followed, their energy surged, and they frantically attacked. Zong Han, Zou Pu, and others who followed behind looked at Chen Fei, who was rushing in front. They couldn't help showing a touch of surprise. Because, at this moment, with a crimson light in his breath, Chen Fei seemed to have turned into a victorious statue, bombarding all the enemies in front of him at once. In front of him, no one could last for three seconds. Whether it was a genetic warrior or a real martial artist, they were all bombarded out. Such a scene made Zhang Han and others sigh in their hearts. Is Chen Fei so powerful? What is his real strength? Who is he? Chen Fei's violent attack naturally attracted the bald man's attention. He turned around and looked at Chen Fei. With vicious eyes, he shouted and rushed over. Chen Fei snorted coldly and also rushed towards the bald man. Behind them, Zong Han, Zou Pu, and the others were shocked when they saw this, and worried expressions appeared on their faces because they had seen the powerful strength of this bald man just now. Even they were not confident enough to say that they would be able to defeat him. Mr. Chen, be careful. I'll help you. Behind him, Zou Pu and Zhao Hu shouted. No. Chen Fei also replied with a shout while continuing to collide with the bald man. Looking for death. The bald man shouted, and his huge fist shone brightly, like a meteorite falling from the sky, slamming into Chin Fei. But Chin Fei was not smashed to the ground as the bald man imagined. Instead, Chin Fei slapped his hands upwards, directly holding the bald man's fist. How is that possible? In such a situation, the bald man couldn't help being stunned, and a look of surprise flashed across his face. He immediately reacted and gritted his teeth, ready to attack again. However, before his attack took effect, two red flames appeared in Chin Fei's eyes, and the flames danced out quickly, landing on the left arm of the bald man. The bald man didn't care at first, but his expression soon changed. Because, as soon as the two flames touched his body, they burned rapidly, quickly incinerating his clothes. When the flames touched his body, his skin was like snowflakes, which quickly melted. The flames then continued to burn the deep flesh and bones. The intense pain made the bald man scream. His reaction was also very quick. While gritting his teeth fiercely, he immediately chopped off his left arm. You. Furious, the bald man stared at Chen Fei with scarlet eyes and shouted, Kill him. In an instant, all the enemies on the platform launched their attacks towards Chen Fei, wanting to kill him. But, Chen Fei just snorted coldly, and a burst of qi energy radiated in his right hand, like a crescent moon. With the radiance of light, the already cold sea night became a bit more icy at the moment. The enemy's movements also seemed to be frozen and became a bit slower. Immediately, a crescent moon-like aura burst out of the air, directly slicing the enemies. Then, more than a dozen enemies in front of Chen Fei stiffened instantly. A wound appeared on their waists, and their bodies were split in two. Then, blood gushed out. More than a dozen enemies, just like this, were cut off by Chen Fei with one blow. With such power, let alone opponents, even Zong Han, Zou Pu, and other teammates behind him could not help but take a deep breath, with a look of horror on their faces. This, what kind of move is this? It is so strong. One move directly killed more than a dozen early-stage, heavenly martial artists. What level did Chen Fei's strength reach? Did we always underestimate him? Just when the teammates were slightly distracted, Chen Fei's voice rang, Don't be distracted. The battle is still going on. Hearing this, the teammates woke up and hurriedly continued the battle. At this moment, Chen Fei did not stop attacking after executing his red flame fire eye and cold moon slash. The enemies in front of him, like wooden stakes, were hit by Chen Fei one by one. The blood accompanied by broken limbs flew in the cold night sky. Even though there were many ferocious genetic warriors among the enemies, such a ferocious scene still made them terrified. In such a situation, Chen Fei's offensive became more and more fierce, knocking the enemies to the ground one by one. Zong Han and the others were also greatly encouraged, and they also started attacking wildly. As a result, the enemy who originally had the upper hand was now losing ground, constantly being knocked to the ground. Some people even started to retreat and escape. The man in the yellow robe on the speedboat also changed his face, and his expression darkened. Seeing that there were fewer and fewer people left, he couldn't help it anymore and shouted to the bald man who was still fighting, 
Protect me and leave. Immediately, the man in the yellow robe was ready to retreat into the cabin. But just as his words fell, Chin Fei moved faster, and with a palm, he slammed the bald man, who was about to retreat and was immediately subdued by Zhong Han, Zhou Pu, and others.